One of our definitions of grief that we use in the grief recovery um, method, and that is that grief is the conflicting feelings caused by the end of or change in a familiar pattern of behavior. Um, and so when we look at that definition, it's all about the familiarity, all about the things that we were familiar with, the things that we're used to that dramatically has changed in our world today, right? And so because of those changes, because of a lot of things ending in our lives um, in this season, um, we are all experiencing grief, right? And so I wanted to kind of put that in perspective for everybody and understand, um, you know, really why I believe, again, the world is grieving. Like I'm always saying that, right? And I really, I really, really believe that with my whole heart. And I think that it's important for everyone to grasp that reality so then that you know what to do with those human emotions, right? The first thing is understanding that it's all normal and natural. The shifts in our life, the changes, all the things that we were familiar with, all of that now different for all of us. And so, you know, when I think about um, all of the different changes, like some of the chat that was going on in our grief talk, a lot of it had to do with parents having to do remote work while the kids are at home and, um, you know, taking up a lot of their time. Normally they're either in an office um, or even if they are working from home, kids are at school or daycare. And so now having the entire family at home and being able to manage all of that is a huge change in what you are familiar with, right? All of those things have impacted your life. Um, and so I just, you know, want to kind of bring that into perspective for you um, and understand that it's all normal and natural to feel overwhelmed, um, to feel stressed out, even to get angry, right? Sometimes your temper is gonna be short and you're trying to meet a deadline and the kids are over here needing your attention and now all of a sudden you are now in this space of not being able to manage all of it. Be okay in that space that you're in. Know that um, you know it's all normal and be kind to yourself. Know that you can't handle everything, right? Um, and be able to figure out um, a schedule, right? Where you can adjust um, every day, every day is going to be a different day. And so learn from what didn't work out the day before and then try something new in um, today, right? Or the, or tomorrow. Um, and so I wanted to just talk about that grief um, definition with you guys. Um, and then I want to shift now and put on my coaching hat and talk about mindset and talk about how you can use the opportunities of sheltering in place, of social distancing, to be a really big advantage for you, right? We are all in the same space of fear, unknown, um, sadness. Um, you know, you may know someone that has been infected by the coronavirus or maybe even more than that, someone that has died. Like I know, you know, the person that died in Guam and that broke my heart when I first found out about it. Um, and then, you know, Mick also knows some people um, here in Canada and even in the UK that have been infected and also have died. And so when you have that realization of knowing, actually knowing someone that has been infected by the virus, it makes the reality of what's going on in the world today more real for you, right? And there's a lot of people out there that they're not affected by it in any way. Um, and so they go about, you know, kind of in their normal environment, not realizing the impact that they're having on the world today by not practicing social distancing. That's a whole nother story. I'm not here to judge anybody. You know, we all have our own individual responsibilities to what is happening in the world and what you're going to do to make sure um, that you're keeping you and your family safe, right? And I think that that's the most important thing is what you're doing to keep you and your family safe. So while you're doing that, you're all gathered together. Everyone's in the same space. Space. Um, or you could be someone that maybe is by yourself. You live alone. I um, mean, even people that live alone, being um, being in the social distancing season, having to shelter in place, still feels very lonely um, because you used to have the ability to go out and um, mingle with people and still be able to interact, right? And give hugs. I love to give hugs to everybody. And I'm missing that right now um, in my world today. You know, let me just um, give you my truth, right? I gave my emotional truth um, when I talked at the grief talk last week, you know, but let me talk a little bit further about some of those truths. Like I 
sit by my window. I stay on the 37th floor of a condo here in Toronto. And I'm the person that is always on an airplane. I never stay put in one place um, for more than a month. And it's been more than a month since I've been here and not able to get on an airplane. And so it's hard for me. Um, I look out at, out the window and I look up at the sky and I miss, I miss getting on an airplane. I miss going places. Um, I miss visiting my family whenever I can and now I, I can't do that. And so that brings a lot of sadness and grief into my life, right? So I know that it's normal and natural and I process all of that. Um, so that's my emotional truth. Um, but I want to shift back to the mindset of how you can make social distancing and sheltering in place work better for you in this environment. Um, again, you know, you want to make sure that you are staying emotional health, emotionally healthy um, by acknowledging and allowing those feelings to flow. And then once you do that, then start thinking about creative ways to shift your mindset. Guys, we have an opportunity right now to bring out that creative part of us. So start thinking about what it is that we would have liked to do had we not been at a full-time job, you know, if we didn't have all of this time to sit here, what would we do with ourselves, right? Um, so just to give you an example of what I'm doing in my life right now, um, I make sure that I get up every morning and I pray and I meditate. That's always the beginning of my day and it helps me to have a clear mindset um, and be ready to begin my day with a positive um, with a positive thought process, right? And to begin knowing that today is going to be a good day. Um, but I also get up and I work out. Um, I didn't do that in the beginning. I started just doing that um, last week and it actually feels so good to start working out again. Um, that's feeding my physical body and it's also helping to give me a good positive mindset um, because now I've got a lot more energy. Um, and then the other thing is I get up like I'm getting ready to go to work. I don't sit in my pajamas all day. I put makeup on every single day. I fix my hair every single day um, because I want also to be in that mindset of being productive. And if you stay in your pajamas all day, you're, go you're going to be in that mindset of just kind of chilling and not doing anything. And you know what? If you've got days that you feel like doing that, make that okay for you. Um, all I'm saying is that we have an opportunity right now to really fill our lives with so much creativity, with vision. We're trying to figure out what our life could look like, right? And, and think about that. What do you want tomorrow to look like if coronavirus were to be gone, right? Did you spend enough productive time during this um, sheltering in place to make your days worth it to make your future look good right because if you just stayed home watched netflix all day watched the news and stayed in fear and panic when all the dust settles what do you have to say for what happened during these two three four weeks who knows how long this is going to be this is an opportunity, guys, for you to take this time, shift your mindset, and do some things that, you know, you can envision what your future is going to look like. I wrote some notes because I follow um, a few different mentors. I plug myself into all kinds of personal development, whether it's YouTube, um, whether it's um, uh, Top Gun University, it's part of the network marketing company that I'm a part of, but I stay plugged in to people that are going to offer value and feed my brain with things that are going to help me to learn and grow. Um, and so one of the things that um, I got from some of the notes that I was taking was um, the acronym WIN. And it stands for what's important now. So making a list, structuring your days to make sure that you are being productive and stick with that list, right? It helps you to stay focused and it'll help your day to feel like you did something and you've accomplished something, right? When you've accomplished something, whether it's at work, whether it's at home, you feel good, right? So you want to always have those feel good um, endorphins going through your body and a lot of that is what you feed in your brain um, there is um, another, uh, another guy that I follow um, and I took some notes his name is John Wimbrey if you guys want to follow him he's an amazing speaker um, but he says maximize your mindset while the rest of the world is panicking right maximize your mindset while the rest of the world is panicking 
right? I'm not saying don't plug into the news. It's important to stay informed. Um, but I always tell people when they talk to me and I'm having these individual conversations is make sure that you're plugging into the right information. Go to the right news that you know is going to give you credible information because all this stuff that goes around in social media isn't always good, right? Um, and so, yeah, it, it, it's going to cause you to panic. It's going to cause you to be in fear. Stop looking at the numbers. Stop looking at the numbers. If you are home and if you are practicing social distancing, if you are sheltering in place, if you are keeping you and your family safe, then you have nothing to worry about. Um, and so, yes, there's other people out there that are going to be affected that you're going to know. And when that happens, because guys, it's going to happen, we're all going to know someone that has been affected by coronavirus. That is the reality of our world today. But don't focus on that. When it happens, then work through it work through those emotions as they come. But don't intentionally fill yourself with panic and fear by going into um, social media and listening to things that are not credible, that are not true, right? Um, the other one is maintain sanity in an insane world, right? That is so true. The world is freaking insane right now, guys. You have to agree with me on that, right? Um, and so how do you maintain sanity in an insane world? Plug in, plug into things that are going to feed your brain with good stuff. Learn, right? We always want to learn. I am an avid book reader. I love to read books. Um, I wasn't able to do a lot of that in my corporate life because I was so busy. Um, and then even being an entrepreneur, I was so busy trying to build my business that I didn't have an opportunity to read. So guess what? During this time of social distancing and sheltering in place, I have books, they're right behind me on my bookshelf. But in addition to that, I have my Kindle that's full of a ton of books and then I have audio books, right? So I'm constantly feeding myself with all of these things that are gonna um, feed my brain and um, allow me to grow in a personal development. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? When things go wrong, with others don't go with them right um and so i think um what he meant by that was for example let's take a look at successful people in the world right you look at the stock market and all the stocks are down guess what all the successful people are doing they're buying stocks because it's down right because they know that when the stock market gets stronger those stocks are going to increase in price and guess what they're going to make a ton of money right? So don't go with the masses that are panicking and freaking out and sitting and watching YouTube all day, or I'm sorry, Netflix all day. Do things that the successful people are doing. Follow what they're doing and fill your brain with positivity and smartness, right? Things that are going to make your social distancing, your sheltering in place worth it. Be valuable. Make this time be valuable for you. Boost your faith, right? At a time when we have so many unknowns, what better time than now to boost your faith? I'm not here to preach to you because everyone believes in something different or someone different. I believe in God. I read the Bible. And in fact, I am picking up my Bible a lot more now um, because I am. I'm digging deeper into my faith. I love that Polly Mike has his masses online um, because I miss going to mass with him. And, and so being able to plug in, and this is all about the world coming together with creativity, right? If you can't meet in person, how then can we continue to connect with each other? The church has found a way. People are connecting online. People are worshiping together online. So whatever your faith is, dig deeper. Dig deeper. Connect with your faith. Because right now there's so many unknowns, right? And faith is believing without seeing. So dig deeper into your faith. That's a one way for you to get away from the, peer, the fear and the panic. Um, regulate what you listen to. Um, the greatest asset is your mind, right? And so I've been talking about that this whole time. Your greatest asset is your mind. Um, and so I want to just encourage you with all of that. Uh, again, you know, my day starts off with meditation and prayer. Um, I work out. I started to do that last week, the working out, and that has really helped me also to have more energy 
um, during the day. I'm trying to eat as um, healthy as possible. So that's a little bit difficult um, because you know you just gotta eat what's in the house. Um, and so I'm doing my best there. Um, but I do, I read, um, I plug in um, to all of these great minds um, that are out there, all of the successful people in the world. Um, I read books um, and then I give back as well, right? I share my messages of grief and healing in human emotions with all of you um, because it's important to me to be able to be there and hold space for people and help everyone to understand that your human emotions are so very normal and natural. And, um, you know, I, I was on a, on a webinar with the Grief Recovery Institute the other day and, um, you know, they were talking about how the world is right now in survival mode. And that couldn't be any further from the truth, guys. We are in, in survival mode, right? And so what do people do when they're in survival mode? A lot of times they react, right? And so I just want you to, and I want to encourage you to, instead of react, respond. Reflect and think about what you could do for you individually. Think of what you can do as a leader of your family and be the the role model that your kids need. Um, and so, you know, again, um, just giving back, I want you guys to know that I am always um, available to be what I call, what we call it, the Grief Recovery Institute, a heart with ears. And so I'm not saying don't, you know, feel the fear. I'm not saying don't feel the panic. I'm actually saying acknowledge it. Acknowledge it, let yourself feel it, let it flow through you, and then shift your mindset to something that's gonna get you away from being in this panic mode consistently, right? Um, if you're sad, if you're brokenhearted, if you're angry, allow those feelings to just flow through you and know that they're all normal and natural. Um, and then if you need someone to help you, give it a voice. I could be that person for you. Right, so direct message me if you have my number, what's at me, because I obviously am not in Guam right now, um, but um, I can definitely get on a call with you on a Zoom call, um, on a FaceTime chat, on a WhatsApp uh, video calling, whatever um, it's gonna take, and just know that I am here um, and I could be available to just listen and be a heart with ears with no judgment. Um, and with no advice, right? Because a lot of times people that are suffering through emotional turmoil, they just need to be heard. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I understand what you're going through because we all go through all of these unique experiences in our emotional journey. Um, so I'll just be there to acknowledge that that's your space and offer you a virtual hug and be your heart with theirs, right? So Cindy, um, thank you for all you're doing. I'm trying to be strong as you are doing in this time of crisis. Sin, let me just tell you, honey, that there is strength and vulnerability. So don't think that you need to be strong for anybody. Allow that vulnerability, that vulnerability to shine through. In these times, being vulnerable is the most human thing that you can do for yourself. And it's healthy, right? Admit your vulnerability. Admit that you can't control everything that is happening around you because we can't, right? What we can control is practicing social distancing, what we can control is sheltering in place. What we can control is what we put in our minds. What we can control is how we structure our days with ourselves or with our families um, together or apart. And those are the things that you can control. Um, if you need more suggestions specifically for yourself on how to shift that mindset or how to deal with your human emotions, get a hold of me. Get a hold of me, guys, because um, I'm only on here for a few minutes, and I'll try and come and come on more often so I can give you good nuggets and inspiration, and um, you know, just be able to answer whatever um, questions or comments that you have um, when I'm online. But otherwise, you can get a direct message me or anything like that. So uh, my ears are kind of itchy right now. But anyways, I love you guys. I know Guam is just waking up, which is why I waited for you guys to be awake to go online because my heart is always there, always an island girl, no matter where I am in the world. Um, but I am open to everyone else. So if you're tuning in from a, another part of the world, don't get me wrong, I'm here for you too. Um, it's just, you know, my, my heart is with my family and friends on Guam um, and anyone else watching around the world. So just know guys that I am a heart with ears, 
always will be for you in this time of social distancing and COVID-19. We're gonna get through this. It's not the end of the world. Envision what your world is gonna look like when this is all over. Envision that, focus on that. I usually tell people, live in the present moment, but in these times, we want you to envision what is gonna happen when all this is over and what you could do now to make sure that those visions, those dreams can come true for you. And if you want more um, specifics on how to do that, let me know. I'm always here to help in any way I can.